again, this is another Dynasty Warriors character. He was actually, this one was, this is another video that was requested by the same person that I talked about in the Jugadon video. Um, he asked if I could try make, he or she asked me if I could try making Jugadon or Mon Chao. And he said basically for Mon Chao, kind of go with Dynasty Warriors 6 version Mon Chao. Basically, Mon Chao is green. He is the a member. He's like one of the five generals of Shu, and Shu's logo is a dragon. Thank God. At least I get that. At least I got that sticker right. Basically, he, to me, he's the dragon. I called him the Dragon Knight. Basically, in the whole series and all that, he had dragon-looking armor. And so I played Dynasty Warriors three, and then skipped to Dynasty Warriors six Empires, and then now to Dynasty Warriors seven. I kind of just skipped it because I just now, I like later got a PS3 and said, oh, well, I don't want to go and get those now. Ooh, look, a new one. So I just quickly grabbed it, so I kind of like skipped two games, but I know the looks and all that. But in Dynasty Warrior 6, everyone was very confused about him because Mon Chao is the Dragon Warrior. Well, he wasn't wearing Dragon Armor at all. As you can see in the picture right now on the screen, no armor. I do not know what's up with this guy. He's got a, he goes from a spear to a big sword like he's Cloud or something. Um, for his face, I just gave him 21. I gave him a villager voice. I think I just made the tone a little higher. Um, his hair, see, see, that's a different thing. Like, I think he always had, like, long hair, or I just believe I'm just constantly thinking of the, uh, fur on his helmet for the dragon tail as his hair, I believe. <laughs> but in Dynasty Warriors 6, he actually gets a show, it actually shows his whole head. So he has, like, short hair. Um, for his equipment and all that. It was more like a skin tight kind of looking suit, but uh, I didn't really want to just go off and do stickers constantly for that. So, for his head, I gave him this because right now he had this, he has this kind of like dragon visor around his face and it has like the dragon ears, I believe. Well, we, we kind of don't really have any helmet that does that, but this one, um, this helmet, it kind of does that whole visor thing, but then you got this big mohawk thingy piece of metal that comes between your head, and also it short, it takes my spike hair down to a normal size piece of hair, so it didn't really work out. So I had to just improvise and go make that so-called visor. Um, he he's got a sleeveless top, which is basically was easy. Now here was the weird part in the in the picture. It looks like he's got a little thin piece of metal, a little thin piece of plate over his chest, or I think that's just the stickers making it look like he's got something. So instead I just gave him um, this, because that's why I'm like looking in the pictures. Uh, he's actually just wearing pants. This is like the first time he's like less armored at all in the whole entire thing. This was the other part, um, what was it, little wrap, um, that, because he has, he still had that same because in his waist, around his waist, he's got that same Chinese, Chinese hip, hip sash, but then he's got that tail. So basically, you just got to go with this one leg wrap. And then for his hands, I believe in the picture, um, he's got his hands, his fingers are actually cut, gloved up. He doesn't have fingerless. And it kind of is just skin tight up to his, right up to the middle edge of his elbow. And then the I am, and then you got this... I think it's just like a thin, real thin piece of gold metal for his shoulders, but instead of doing that, because I don't really have anything small that's round, like the the, war, the Warlord patterns, if those were really small, and they were like right there on top of my um, shoulder area, that one could work, but they're not, and they're big, so instead I just kind of gave them the, the same Tiger, um, tiger Lily patterns, then I gave them bandaged feet, and then he's got... This is actually, he doesn't got armored boots, he's just got these regular long tall boots that actually have some gold trim designed on them. Now this is the part where, for the visor, because he's got that funny looking visor. So instead, I've given him the tails, I gave him the goddess feathers, made him real, um, I made him like real long, put him back at naked five, with the short, real, they were, made him really long, it kind of took a while to constantly get him up to his face area right there. And then the other part was for the two parts is his moons. Uh, here's um, here's the coordinates for the moons. You know, I just kind of pause it if you feel like it. If you want to get these coordinates down, these are the precise coordinates. I don't know which part of the face I'm actually on. Let's see. 
and this is the other coordinates. Uh, this is possibly like the right side, I believe, or something like that for the for that part because he had that you know, those two parts coming in from the ending visor. But since it was kind of hard doing that one, and then let's go to the um, textures. Since he he's mostly just easy because he's just freaking green and old green and then a yellowish gold. For his um, for his um, skin tone for the whole metal thing it's just gold and then his lay and then the patterns I just made um, dark green with a light trim green on them. Um, let's see, was that no it's sticker area? Sticker area. He for his chest area it's kind of he's kind of got like a little green going right from the middle down and then like there's a tiny little gold line for I believe like the zipper going straight down in the between the green. So it's, I just gave him this green triangle see it right there it's just, ba it's just basic for that opening area I didn't want to go all the way down because it's not like that he, I actually lose and then for him um, he didn't he doesn't really have um, any design on it any um, kind of real design so I gave him a design onto his um, fabric so I just gave him the dragon because he's a member of Shu and the Shu army was a dragon logo so that one's very simple the colors and all that were just green and same color as him. And then for his boots areas, these are just really tall. These are size is the size is real big, and then it's like the very bottom area of the um, of this of this sticker to make that trim kind of look right there on his boots. And then I just take the vertical, just go vertical up, bring it up high, and then that's how you make it. And then for his weapon though, since he's not got a spear, he's got a big sword. So instead, um, this was actually, I went, ooh, this might be perfect for, um, for, um, Nightmare version sword, because it, it, it was a big kind of sword, and this is the only one that I actually have not used from the master set for Nightmare. I did use Siegfried's already, and this one actually fits more for him, along with a sword, kind of. So this, um, this is how you make, this is basically how you make Mon Chao that was totally requested by, I don't know, I put the guy's name in the shout box. This is, a, this is your basic Mon Chao. Thanks.